According to Dr. Spesio, the one day she found a lot of financial rot in the microfinance center by the time she took over as the board chairperson. She then instituted an internal probe into the misuse of the center's money. The microfinance support center was set up to extend loans to small farmers with the aim of empowering them economically. The center is under the finance ministry. It was after this probe that a report ordered for the interdiction of the three officials. We were investigating matters that pertained to a $500,000 project, which never materialized. We ended up getting junk computers, junk generators. But the IGG says Kazuba was wrong to order for the suspension of the officials because they had crucial evidence in his parallel investigations. Hi, Excellency Kazuba. Give instructions for the company secretary and the chief legal manager of the company to be suspended. And this was after we had already invited the company secretary to come and give evidence before us in the Secretary of government. So what message are you sending? This person has come from the Secretary of government to give evidence. The other one is about to come because we gave, we gave someone. Then we say now, stop to operate as a microfinance. The reason they were actually expelled had nothing to do with the investigation. They were wanting in their work. If anybody accuses me of being bold and ensuring that people get paid for what they have done, I will continue doing that. Rafael Baku also accuses the microfinance board of operating illegally. Those board members who have been operating there run a full term without being approved. Started on a second term without being approved. Which to me is illegal because it is not complying with their own internal document called the Memorandum and Article of Association. Kazbue, who doubles as a senior presidential advisor on population and health, says though she's out of office, she still has influence in the microfinance support center. I'm going to continue putting my eye on that institution even during this time as the investigations continue so that the over 60 billion shillings which are meant for poverty eradication are not again cured by the staff that have remained there. Kazube and four others who include Chamswa County Legislator Tim Ruanga, Henry Mutevichito, Ogol Charles and John Chijere, all members of the center, will now have to wait for the outcome of the investigations to determine their fate. Julius Senkandua, NTV Tonight.